Okay guys, welcome to the arrival. Here is Grip. Let's see how long he behaves. Um, everyone wanted to see how he's doing and see how big he's getting. And there he goes. He's getting big. Here he comes to get me, I think. You gonna put him in? Mm -hmm. You gonna, you gonna leave him out? You gonna leave him out? Drip, are you going in? Guys, please excuse the front of this place. Um, I have planted a few things here to create seedlings. And this right here is a yellow pepper. This right here is, I think this is the red pepper. Yes. And this is the spinach. And back there is the beet tomatoes. And all right. So anyway, let me get Kenny and we're going to have a little chat, okay? Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to um, the arrival. Mm -hmm. We are here today because it is our anniversary. It is our one year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Today we've been in the Gambia for one complete year. Mm -hmm. We actually arrived um, August the 18th, 2020. 2020. 2020 and wow. now we are in 2021. Wow. Yeah. So how does it feel? It You've feels, been here for a year. feels good. We've gotten a lot done, I guess. We, we went through a lot mm -hmm. and what we, you know, had we set a goal and we, I guess, took, stuck the course, you know, got a lot done. Yeah. And, uh, but I still got a lot to do. Still got a lot to do. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel good. Anyway, we wanted to come here and just, um, you know, reflect on our year and, you know, the things that we have gone through, the things that have strengthened us and make, made us better mm -hmm. and um, brought us to the place that we're at today. Right. So, starting with um, learning the culture. Right. Yeah, learning we, the culture. I still yeah. feel like I'm learning the culture. Me um, too. Yeah. Yeah. I still feel like I'm learning the culture. Yeah. Um, I feel a little more, um, a little more comfortable, mm -hmm. um, with the people. Mm -hmm. I feel a little more comfortable in just being here. Like before, I felt out of place, but now I'm starting to feel more settled. Mm -hmm. um, still haven't learned a language, um, and that's my fault because I had two opportunities to take lessons, which I'm going to take. Mm -hmm. Just seems like every time I want to take a lesson, something comes up, and I'm I have to do something mm -hmm. else, and I can never really get get you know get into my lessons. But that is one desire of mine is to learn Wolof. I really want to learn the language, mm -hmm. and um, so I can be able to communicate effectively with um, people. Mm -hmm. And I think Wolof is the language that most people speak, mm -hmm. whether you're Mandinka, Fula, or whatever else. I think everyone understands the basic Wolof. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to learn. Um, how about you, about as far as the culture? Well, how do you feel? Well, we took our, our first three months, we said that's what we were going to do. So our first three months, we pretty much walked around the neighborhood. That's what we used to do every night. Mm -hmm. First three months we walked, we didn't have a vehicle, so we walked everywhere, got to see people, meet people, and uh, you know, even though it was something that was, um, it was a big change from what we saw in, you know, Philly and PA, Harrisburg and, you know, all the surrounding areas, there's a big difference. When we got here, you know, it seemed like it was, wow, this is, this is different. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's different. And then after walking around and, and meeting the people and seeing the scenery, I guess our eyes started to get a little adjusted to it, you know, mm -hmm. and because um, that's after we got our first compound, we got the compound and started walking around every night just to see what what it was, what it was like, what it actually is like, not as a tourist, not as, you know, just someone who's going to be here for a moment, mm -hmm. but act like it was home and learn the new home, you know, after being in uh, 
that place over there for many years, all our life, to come somewhere new, new culture, new uh, people, you know, uh, you don't speak the language. And even though there are people, we still have a lot of, uh, how do you say, barriers to cross to learn to understand. And so we did it for three months. And I think we learned a lot during that time. So that's pretty much when it comes to understanding the culture. And we're still learning, you know, because mm -hmm. that was just the beginning, you know. Yeah. You know, it's just the beginning. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, and what else? There's just been so much. I mean, um, this was a really, really, really a major um, transition. And, um, and it wasn't really easy. Mm-hmm. It wasn't easy, but we've survived, and we're still here. We're Feels still, like more like ten years. We're, than one year. we're still standing, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we still have um, the desire to go on. So, yeah. um, I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Like I really do think we're good. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think the most um, beneficial, the most, the most beneficial lesson for me, it's all been. I think my 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 biggest lessons have been spiritual. Mm for me they've been right. spiritual um and they've been fantastic and i've been learning a lot about myself that i didn't know that i knew about myself and um making me appreciate this part of my life and this this season of my life this journey that i'm on mm -hmm. um yeah so i'm uh, saying after a year what would you have done differently anything after being here and would you have done anything different or prepared differently or? I would have prepared differently. How? Right. Um, I would have probably come here to visit before I decided on the Gambia. Mm -hmm. um, and I would have probably would, would, would like to have a lot more money and I would have shipped my car. Yeah. Well, yeah. it still all worked out fine. And it, it did work out fine, but I'm you saying know. there was things that I would have done differently. But so I sure. think if you'd have done it a certain way, then you probably wouldn't have experienced a lot of things that you experienced and wouldn't got the life lesson out of some of the things, you know. Yeah. And that's the same with me, you know. I don't think, we always say we'd do, we'd, hindsight's 20, 20. Mm -hmm. You know, you look back, you say, oh, I could have done it like this, I could have done it like that. And you probably wouldn't have encountered the people that you encountered that you would have connected with. And then, you know, then you have relationships with those that, you know, you were designed to have the relationships with, you know. So I don't think anything's by mistakes because the steps of a good man are ordered, you know, or, or woman of the Lord, you know, when you actually are serving him and seeking to serve him, have the heart to serve him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't think anything's by mistake. It's by faith that everything we got was done and it was done the way it was supposed to be done. That's the way I see it. I mean, so. And right now we're in a, a season of, um, how do you say? Repair. Per, repair? Like or road building, maybe. <laughs> you know, building a road to cross over to the next year. How about that? Yeah, like, <laughs> that is that is something how we're, we're um, getting ready to go into another year. Yeah. And how we're working on the road. Yeah. And you know that roads always lead to destinations. Mm -hmm. um, so. But it has to be fixed to get across there, right? Well, we're working on the That's road. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, that, yeah, so it's like preparing us for something new. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that next year, this coming year, mm -hmm. up and coming year, will bring us to a place mm -hmm. of um, something different. Right, you know, we right. don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we will be in our house mm -hmm. and um, we will be enjoying another level of freedom that we are not experiencing now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. And if anybody would have ever said to me, like three years ago, that mm. I would be in Africa, mm. working on a road mm. in the Gamb in the Gambia, mm -hmm. in Jemendele, mm -hmm. I would have said you're crazy. <laughs> I ain't working on the road. <laughs> I would never have thunk it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but here I am, um, working on a road, mm. and you know. And we're having fun with it, yeah. you know. Even though it was frustrating, a couple, like you know, a few days there was very frustrating. Um, before we left there, we were laughing or just made the most of it, you know, mm -hmm. and just realized that, um, 
you know, and I even said to Kenny one day, I said, wow, I can't believe we're working on the road, you know, I feel like, I said, I feel like, you know, I think I had a shovel, yeah. and I said, I feel like um, I'm in a life movie with Eddie Murphy and and um working on chain gang working on chain gang <laughs> yes eddie murphy and all that who else was it at martin lawrence it was a whole bunch and of um it was an all-star cast what's the guy who died um bernie said, mac bernie mac, bernie bernie mac. mac. Yeah. Um, anyway so i said i feel like i'm working working you know i feel like the life movie we just started laughing and i yeah. said but it's good i said at least i'm doing it with my friends yeah. at least we are here together doing mm-hmm. it so then it took that frustration right then and there and mm-hmm. turned it around to something funny mm-hmm. and we laughed about it. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, I came home that night mm-hmm. and I really prayed and I said, Lord, you know, this is doesn't seem right that, um, you know, we are out here trying to do something different mm-hmm. and help a road to create a passageway for everyone to benefit from. Mm-hmm. And no one's really... Um, assisting, you know, people are coming by, riding. Hey, hey good job, you know. The, the guy. How do you how do you say good job if you see all this in front of someone and you don't want to assist? You know, like just come on, like help, you know. But I had to get past that because you can't make anyone do anything that they don't want to do. So when God sent help and He sent help that didn't look like I thought it was going to look. Because I didn't, when I came to see all the young men, I was like, oh my God, I was expecting, you know, adult men, but it was younger men. And it turned out to be a better thing because they are um, full of energy. They were full of, you know, enthusiasm. And it really worked out well. And I said, God, you know, sometimes we pray and we don't know how the answer is going to come. But it came amazingly and I was well pleased. And um, here I am, never knowing that I would be on the road in this chapter of my life, working on it. Um, But it's a good road. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fulfilling road. so. So it's been a good year. I think it's been a good year. Yes. I mean, you know, you get tired, you you get rest, Mm -hmm. you know, and you just get up and get back on it, you know. And when rainy season's over, hopefully we'll be able to jump on and start continuing to build on a house. Mm -hmm. But one thing we won't have to worry about is the water in the road and all that stuff and if the trucks can get through because that's done. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, any lessons learned, I guess I could ask. That's a canary. Look at that. A little green canary. Wow, you see those in the store. But uh, any lessons learned here other than, you know, have anything else you want to add to it? or? Are, are, have you had, had any lessons learned? Oh, yeah, that, that um, necessity is the mother of invention. Yes. Even more so. You know, mm-hmm. here it's, you don't have to have a lot to make it happen. You just have to, you know, want it to be done and... Of course, we want all of the latest technology, all the latest machinery, all the latest tools. But I learned that, you know, when you, when you don't have it, you you start thinking. You start bring, bringing fresh new ideas to it, mm-hmm. to the table. And, you know, what happens if all the machinery breaks down? What happens if uh, that we, we've, we've uh, come accustomed to rely on is no longer? Right. Then you have to think. Mm-hmm. You know, but here it's a, you get a head up on it because that's where uh, we are right now in, in a place where you have to think, you know, you have to think, you have to come up with ideas to get past, to get over and get through, mm-hmm. you know, no matter what it seems like, you still, you, that's my life lesson more so that, you know, you never quit because you don't have something. You make it, you know, just like here, if they don't have a part. They'll take a part, piece of the other part and make the part for a vehicle or something like that. So, you know, it's a matter of, like I said, necessity. Yeah. You know, and I think back in the West, you, you everything is microwaved. Everything is convenient, you know, which is fine. But we don't think as much as we used to. And when we need to, you know, get something fixed or fix something, we just go to the store and grab the part and do a plug and play. And you don't think about what's happening and how it's happening. Mm-hmm. You just do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and I just got a better um, appreciation 
for my brothers and uh, sisters here in, on the continent because they make it happen. Yeah. You know, they make it happen. You know, yeah. even though I had that respect before I came, I still have a greater respect for them. You yeah. Know? And, uh, yeah. Well, I think that um, another lesson that I learned is that everywhere you go, people are um, kind, some are selfish, some are self-seeking, some are very helpful, mm -hmm. some are um, game, game, um, game seekers, mm -hmm. you know, um, and that's everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You're going to have those, the same people. And I realized that it's not about the people, it's more about you. Like, what do you bring to the table? And I think that when you are the person that you should be, kind, nice, you're going to meet those same kind of people. Mm -hmm. And even though the other people come into your life, they're not staying too long because you don't really have that much in common. So they're not going to be um, up close and personal in your life. But I have met some very, very nice, um, some very, very mean, some very, very selfish, some very, very greedy all those people and i'm telling you sounds like the world to me that's what i said they're, yeah. they're the same everywhere you know what i mean like yeah. it's everywhere you go like yeah. people are people yeah. and um so when you come when you come as long as you know that people are the same everywhere you go mm -hmm. people are the same everywhere you go and you just have to be uniquely and divinely you. No one can change you. Yeah. No one can, um, and no, you're not gonna come over here and just turn into um, somebody else because you're in a country. You're still gonna be who you are mm -hmm. because who you are is who you are. That's right. Um, but you will learn new things, new qualities, mm -hmm. have new adventures and everything. And, and one thing I like that, um, I am who I am, and I'm I'm grateful for the journey that I had before I got here. Right. Because I wouldn't be able to appreciate now what I have had I not had I not um, you know, came from America. Yeah. So, um, to me, it's just like a double blessing. I'm telling you, it's just it's just something really sweet, and I and I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my me too. journey. Me yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. So it's been one year. Mm -hmm. It went fast. You know, I didn't think it would go this fast. Yeah. You know, even though we said, oh, in one year we hope to have the house up. But we're on schedule. Yeah. You know, before we came, we had a game plan. Our mm -hmm. game plan was to, how do you say, get out of the um, the guest house within a week or so. We did that. Um, and then move into uh, rental uh, for a year. Well, we did that, but we had to get out of there because of whatever circumstances. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was a le learning experience. And then we came into this place, and then, you know, we had the robbery. That was a learning experience. Uh, then, you know, after that, then, you know, we started to really build on our property, and then we understand how things work in the construction industry. That was an experience. So everything we've encountered in this year, we can take forward to the next year and hopefully improve on everything so when you come you know your time is it's going to go fast but make the most of it yeah make the most of it learn the must the, uh, the you know whatever you can learn and i just want to piggyback on something what you said you said when you come here don't come here expecting to be a different person you're going to be who you are yeah. you know <laughs> if you mean back in the states you're going to be mean here it might take a little longer until you start to show if you're nice if you have a loving heart you're going to be the same person, you know, and you're going to be showing yourself whatever improvements need to be made. It will come out. You have to see them. You have to face them. And you just make the necessary adjustments because um, you come back to the motherland and she's going to, uh, she'll, she'll, she'll correct you. She'll bring you to a place of understanding of look at inner self, look at yourself and see who you are mm -hmm. and make those necessary adjustments that you have to. You know, so that you can unify, you know, and, and incorporate yourself in, you know, on the land with your brothers and sisters. And you no, know, it's not easy, but it's um, it's worth it, you know. And that's all I have to say in regards to it because this has been a it's been a long. I mean, it seems like a long journey. It's only been a year. Been a year. <laughs> I know. I want to say one thing. One other thing is that um, when when um, in our journey. Mm -hmm that I realized that a lot of people don't know our story. Mm. 
and I think that's what needed more so than anything else mm-hmm. is for us to have um, dialogue mm-hmm. about um, you mm-hmm. and us, mm-hmm. us and you, because they don't know our story. When mm-hmm. I talk to so many different people, they're like, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know that was going on in America. We didn't know. We had no clue. Like, you read all about so, when you say they, the, the, they don't know our story. Like our story as far Ooh. as slavery. Our story Who's as far they, I'm saying. the people that I have encountered. And oh. everybody that I encounter are from different people. Some people are from Senegal. Are you talking Some about here on the continent? Here oh, in the Gambia. Oh, brothers and sisters here a lot um, don't know. They don't okay. know our story. They don't know. Like yeah, we think, like, well, at least I thought. I can't mm-hmm. speak for anyone else. Mm-hmm. I thought that when I came home or came back to the motherland, that everyone's going to be like, wow, you know, you made it home and they knew what we went through in our struggle, but they don't know our struggle. They don't know. There's some who do. And uh, some they who don't, don't. The people that I talk to, and I'm talking about the people that I talk oh, okay, to, okay. didn't know our story. They right. don't know the young kids, you know, um, call me, you know, to Bob. And then I had to say to them, why do you call me to Bob? And then they tell me they come to Bob, and I'm, you know, you black American. I tell them American is not um, a culture or nationality. American is just a label. Everybody has something that they're that they're. If you're Italian, you're associated with Italy, or if you're Spanish, you're associated with Puerto Rico or Spain. If you're, you know, so the black people, the only people that they call us black American, American is not. A race. It's not an. It's not a nationality. So I was like, we're African. We just happen to be born in America. He said, you're not African. I said, yes, we are African. Our ancestors were stolen from here, and they shipped them all different places throughout the world. You know, the Caribbean to the islands to the Americas, and he didn't know that. And he was like ten years old. So I'm saying they don't know our story. So I think it's important that we get our story out. So they know who we are and that we really are coming home and they don't look at us look at us as the americans even though we are the americans but we're really not the americans you know Mm -hmm. and i think that is um what i think needs to be really worked on my opinion Mm -hmm. yeah but anyway that's that's good that's true Mm -hmm. yeah so but one thing you'll find out the conveniences you have back at home back in the west you don't have them here you can't run to Home Depot, you can't run to Lowe's, you can't run to the local grocery store all the time. They have a grocery store. But, you know, it's not like you're running in certain places that you used to run into. You have to make those adjustments. Um, and I say over the year, it feels like more like home. Does it feel more like home to you now? It feels now everything, After a year. everything around me mm-hmm. is so familiar. Yeah. And now everything around me is like it's a part of me, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, wow. I feel like um, at home. Yeah. I really feel like um, this has been um, this has been an amazing um, an amazing unfolding adventure, you know. And mm-hmm. I love it. And I do feel at home. I do. I yeah. feel more comfortable now. When I see things, it just seems like it's a part of my life. Right. Yeah. So after a year, you know, you can say. With your eyes to behold, you become more of because you know, just like you know, when we first got here, our minds were fresh with the way it was back in the West. Mm-hmm. And you know, with that being said, you know, the, the highs were you know, mm-hmm. used to seeing uh, the highways, uh, you know, uh, all the interstates and all the metropolises and all that stuff, but mm-hmm. and then you, I guess you get you, your mind starts to retrain itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, away from that kind of stuff, and you get more relaxed, and you're not in the hustle and bustle as it was back there, but you still have a hustle and bustle. Yeah. You know, it's mm-hmm. just a different hustle and bustle. Yeah. And so after a year, I guess you can say, your be your reprogram has uh, started, and the first thing is to get that mindset, you know, away from the West more so. The further away from there you get in the the understanding of the system that they put in place to oppress us. That's the, that's what I'm talking about. Because mm-hmm. you're never going to forget who you are. You're never going to forget where you came from. Yeah. But, you know, now that you're here, your mind is being trained to see certain things every day. And when you see every, every day, it's easier 
to say, oh wow, yeah, this, this is, I can do this, I can do this. Mm -hmm. So give yourself some time when you come. It may not happen in the first month, second month, but after like I could say a year, I can say it kind of like that's where I'm at, you know. And, and everybody it's home. Mm -hmm. and everybody's gonna feel um, different. Yeah. It's gonna no, yeah, everybody's their journey's gonna be mm -hmm. so different. Right. So yeah, you can only go by your experience, like what, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. With that being said, I mean, hey, another year, first year, and hope next time this year we'll be doing this from our porch at the house. Yes, that's going to be very, very nice. Yeah. I can't wait till that happens to be in our own place, and and I'm sure once we're in our own place, it's going to bring another level of of um, freedom, awesomeness, uh, you know, accomplishment, and it's going to feel good. Yeah. It's going to really, really feel good because you're building something that you were a part of from the conception and it's gonna feel really, really good. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, I just wanna give praise or praise to Ahaya mm -hmm. for um, making everything yes. doable. Mm -hmm. He supplied our needs yes. and um, he has been um, always yes. just- We couldn't so have made it without, without his, him. His, his grace and his mercy. Yes. And yeah. it, mm, and that's all we that's all we can do we can, we wouldn't be correct if we didn't stop and just say all praises to the most high Ahaya. we wouldn't be correct and that's the only way we made it yeah you know whatever you choose to put your faith in that's what you choose but yeah i say it's not broke so we're not going to fix it you yeah. know everything you know he's he's got our back always been there and always will be yeah. So all praises to him praise and to Yeshaya, his son, yes. our Hamashia. Yes. And um, I just wanted to to just complete my statement was that um, without him, yes. we would not have made it. Mm. And because of him, he's making everything possible. Yes. And because of him, he's making my life feel like a joy to live. Mm. And I'm telling you, um, I'm enjoying my journey. Mm. Don't how don't know how long how much of it's left because it seems like everything's changing so rapidly and so quickly but as we go i just want to make sure that i acknowledge him first and foremost and in front of the whole entire world that um he reigns he lives and he's supreme in my life and um i love him so there you have it <laughs> all praises to the most high I agree. You good? I'm good. All right. So, guys, thank you. Yes. We appreciate you guys. And I just, well, before I did want to say thank you guys that supported us. Oh, yes. Throughout yes, this yes. whole year. Yes. You guys have been amazing. Yes. All of the financial support, all of the moral support, all of you guys who just kept telling us, you can do it, keep going. We got, we're with you, and you inspired us, and all of that, you know, that helps you keep going and keep moving. Yes. And just want to say thank you guys. You yes. guys have been amazing. Yeah. Yes. How, how can it's I forget? Good. How can I forget the family? Yeah. yeah. I just want to say to, to that too is that um, some of these comments and some of these emails, oh my goodness, let me tell you, they're so beautiful and so precious and they bring tears to my eyes because some days haven't been that easy. But I'm telling you, when I read some of these comments, they are just so precious and they just make you just feel like getting up and going on mm -hmm. another day. Mm -hmm. So to my faith, to my um, YouTube family, we thank you. And we yeah, appreciate you. the arrival family. Yeah. You guys are absolutely fabulous. Yes. Yeah. I thank you for every donation that Kenny said, every mm -hmm. email, every comment, every everything. Mm -hmm. And um, special thanks to Marilyn Jackson. Oh, you give a shout out to her, yeah. To, um, who just really blessed us today. Yeah. And she... Um, surprise us with um she donated a pump a water, we, a water pump <laughs> yeah she supplied it uh, we went out and picked it up today and uh so we're going to be using it tomorrow on, tomorrow <laughs> on the road thank you Marilyn. Marilyn. that was a blessing so yes. now we have a pump yeah. to pump the water out you know how we were the guys the young guys were pushing the water in the hole and uh, throw the hole we could you know fill the holes up for now and just pump all the water out in the field hopefully and 
Yeah, you'll see. Marilyn, you'll see. thank you. Thank you. And we, we want to give we, a special shout out. Yeah. Yes, we thought we were going to be able to do, um, go today. Yeah. But it was just like late in the afternoon and yeah. so much traffic. But mm -hmm. Marilyn, we thank you. Yes. We thank everyone for mm -hmm. your donations for the, yeah. for everything. Yes. Our neighbors in Jamba and Jelly. Yes. We thank you, Daniel. You start we thank naming you. names. You I'm not going to. I know, but we yes, just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our project. hearts. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. appreciate you. And all our subscribers, we yeah. say thank you. All right. And um, that's it. All right. Thank you, you guys for tuning be in. Thanks okay. Again. Take care. Bye.